What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today, it's a video I should have done like six months ago. It is my apartment tour. God, this is a long time coming. Let me flip the camera around and we'll get right into this. So, start off my apartment. We have, we'll go over here to the entryway slash dining room. So, over here we have my skateboards. My favorites, we have this one, which I bought for a video that I did make. I couldn't remember for a minute. It, I needed to do more with this thing. This was one of the coolest purchases I ever made. Then we have two more old skateboards. One I broke, the other sh shit. And then we have this, my skateboard I use now. And we have the door and the keys. My shoe rack table with a lighter for some reason, because I bought lighters and I think they're cool. And my wallet. This this is really cool. This is a letter opener, but it's a sword. <laughs> I really like that. And then I have these, which need to go back to my dad. And then if you come over here, we have basically where I, my living room. We have down here, we have my Nerf guns and a deflated Harlem Globetrotters basketball for some reason. We have comics that I still need to read. My earbuds over on the charger. Money in here. Uh, my couch. And then my chair, which, when I'm watching TV on the couch, gets moved over into that back corner where it fits perfectly. And then we have one of my favorite pieces of artwork I ever bought. The fucking kaiju ramen, which was really sick. And then over behind the couch, we have the uh, GTA Los Santos map and the Red Dead Redemption 2 map. Both really cool. And then if we come over to this wall, we have my TV alongside my Switch, which is charging, Xbox 360, and PS4. Then we have all my video games, movies, and PS4 games. My fuck you wooden hand that I actually broke. I'm, re I'm really upset I broke this. Because <laughs> it was my favorite. Oh, no. Well, I'll pick that up later. We have uh, Darth Revan. A Coca-Cola pen, more change, and Vash the Stampede from Trigun. And then above that shelf, we have the Bad Batch Clone Force 99 uh, picture. And we have this, which is really cool because it is one of the things I... One of the targets I did when I was shooting rifle. And it's the only one I actually got a bullseye in, if you can see that right there. And then... Uh, above the kitchen, we have the little, a little surfboard, I think. I can't remember if that was in my room too or back at my parents' house. Over here in this corner, we have my guitars, my box of swords, knives, baseball bat for some reason, lightsaber, and then my duck crossing sign, which I know was around in the last room tour when I was still at my parents' house. Now my favorite thing about this apartment, I got a balcony. Can look outside. I got. I'm not going out there because I have problems with my neighbor downstairs. She doesn't like me very much. <laughs> so we have my balcony out there, and then in here we just have my kitchen where I just did dishes, everything in the kitchen, looking like a kitchen basically. Not much artwork to go over in there. In here is the office, I suppose, where we have my computer set up. And we have the Volkswagen Carmen Ghia with a pirate coin, a Dorvin coin, and a D&D coin. And then we have an arrowhead. Over here we have some bullet casings, bullet actual unfired bullet, which is really cool. I really like that. And we have this antenna, which I use to watch football games when football season's on. We have this, which I actually just bought today. It is a D&D D20 that turns into a dragon. And then we have the box of arrowheads. 
And then in this cabinet, which is really cool, we have um, Demon Slayer playing cards, my D&D dice, and my Magic the Gathering deck. And down here, we have my... Ooh, that's bad. We have my microphone and headphones for when I make music. And then here's just the TV remote, keyboard, and mouse. Over here, we have all of my comics. It has grown so much since the last time I did a room tour. We have some that aren't even put away yet for some reason. We have the Fast and the Furious Lego um, charger. We have the Ghost Riders charger. Slave 1, uh, Anakin Jedi Starfighter, and Bon from Seven Deadly Sins. And then we have this down here, which is just comics. I'm trying, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna sell that I don't really need anymore. Shoes that I'm gonna sell. And a box I use to stab stuff with. We have this, which I know wasn't around in my last room tour. This is a Ender 3 Pro 3D printer. And if we come down here, we have all the batarangs, brass knuckles, Naruto kunai and shuriken that I have ever made with this thing. Just in one box. Over here we have Venomized Thanos, Venomized Ultron, Samurai Flash, and Tanjiro Funko Pops. In this corner we have the Hulk mural, I suppose, a Lego cup, which I just like to have there, and then Green Arrow. We have the mini pool table with some weights and a hand and a grip strength thing on it. Above the desk, we have the almighty wizard. <laughs> Great piece of artwork here. We have a Pokemon Legends Arceus poster. That was actually a promotion piece from GameStop that I was able to snag and just cut out of a bigger promotion. We have the Batman, Superman, Hulk, and Spider-Man walking across the street from the Beatles album cover. And then over here, we have the Captain America and Iron Man, um, uh, comic cover pieces, which I think are really cool. And in this closet, we, there's not much in this closet. We have cleaning supplies mainly. But on the top shelf is where all my, a good chunk of my boxes are. And if you look very closely, there is a Funko Pop of Grateful Buster from Fairy Tale still in the box. I took it out of the box, but it just didn't stand up right. So I just put it back in the box and threw it in the closet. <laughs> now we have everything else around here, including poker chips, my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Magic the Gathering cards. I think this has my Pokemon cards in it. Uh, PlayStation box, Nintendo Switch box, old phone cases, a whole nine yards in there. And then, and then back out in the living room, we have the entryway closet, which has all of my jackets. We have some books back there, uh, Game Informers, books for school, a bunch of random boxes and stuff like that. Nothing too great in that closet. Under, I forgot about under the table. Under the table, we actually have my guitar amp, which I can't really use anymore <laughs> because my neighbor will hate me even worse then, which is hilarious. In here, we got the bathroom. A very small bathroom, but it'll do. Just a very tiny bathroom. Oh, that should be it in the main room. Now we're moving on to the best room of the house. The, the apartment, my bedroom. So, one round shot of my bedroom and all of its amazingness. So to start off, on this wall, we have a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1 poster, which is really cool. I really like how that looks. Over here, we have, right above my bed, we have Jabba the Hutt, a Droidica, which I need to straighten out, uh, Kylo Ren little old candy dispenser, but it doesn't really dispense candy anymore for some reason. We have three cars. I'm going to be honest, I don't remember. I know this one's a Challenger, I think. I don't know. It's somewhere under here. Charger. But I don't remember what these two were. We have a VW microbus. 
that's supposed to be a Christmas ornament, but I don't have a Christmas tree, so I put it right there. We have this Disney Infinity Star Wars thing that I just thought looked cool. And then we have the Samurai uh, Riding Horse, which also looks real cool. I really like the look of that. Over here, we have the brand new LEGO Star Wars ATTE, which looks spectacular. I love this set so much. Then we have the LEGO Volts Lego Creator uh, Volkswagen VW Microbus. I called that a Beetle. I meant to say Microbus. I'm, I'm stupid. Then we have the uh, 501st Specialist Battle Pack build right here with slight modification to it and a clone trooper up front. Up here we have just Lego parts. And then this bottom bin we have my uh, jewelry, my watches, my necklaces, my rings. And then this one we have all the parts that need to be sorted from like pieces, from like sets I've destroyed over the course and stuff like that. This bottom drawer we have all my hair pulls and stuff, nothing too interesting in that one. Over here, right next to my trash can, we have where I sort my minifigs. We have Star Wars, Marvel, DC, licensed random stuff, unlicensed random stuff, and custom and incomplete figures in here. So, that's all those. And then, right here, we have the uh, minifigure sorter. Um, we have the, trying to remember what I have on my shelves now, Mandalorian Starfighter, custom spaceship, Lego foam stress brick thing, signed photo from the guy who played Greedo in A New Hope, all dusty on the top too. We have the Throne of Mandalore, a custom Wally West on the Mobius chair from the comic books that I made. We have a little car that was in like a McDonald's toy years ago. The Daily Bugle, Sanctum Sanctorum, slash Peter Parker's apartment. Under here we have some old castle in space. Oh no, I crooked that, I made that crooked. We have the Spider-Man Bridge Battle, really cool set. We have Donatello, Michelangelo, and Leonardo. Leonardo? Leonardo. Uh, Ninja Turtles. I really like those. I just almost tripped over my bed like an idiot. I'm a buffoon. Down here. Oh my god. Down here. I had to get down on the floor, but I did it weirdly. We have the Bad Batch shuttle with one of the speeders that came with it. Micro Scale Slave 1 and Pantu 4. On the shelf next to it, we have an old castle set. Two old castle sets, actually. We have that one, that little poly bag, and then this one. Um, which, this one was part of my dad's old Legos that he gave me. And, yeah, that's that display. Over here, we have the Hulkbuster. Porg, uh, Lego Chima set, and Lego Alien Invasion, I think it was. I don't remember. Over here we have um the Star Wars shell the Star Wars action figure shelf. We have Cody, Rex, 501st Trooper, uh Boba Fett, Prototype C3PO, Maul, Star Wars issue 9 of the original Star Wars comics. We have a I forget that kind of trooper. We have Christmas uh, Mandalorian, and we have Grand Admiral Thrawn Black Series. And then we have this. This is really neat. I 3D printed a Stormtrooper bust. So, that's that right there, front and center. Over here in the shelf that everything falls over on, so I don't even really bother putting it back up anymore. We have the comics shelves. We have Batman, Nova, Iron Man... Flash, and on, on, as far as the comic backdrop behind it, we have Spider-Man and Batman, and Spawn and Batman, which are really cool. And then over here, we have 
anime shelf, which is the most set up shelf, the most nice looking in my, one of the more nice looking action figure shelves in my opinion, because we have the Kakashi statue, um, Dark Magician, Gengar, Winged Dragon of Ra, we have a Sanji soda bottle and an All Might soda bottle. We have one of the coolest things I ever bought, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 playing cards, which just fit right back there when I'm not using them. We have a Charizard statue. We have Shonen Jump from the month. This is really cool. I'm not even going to bother getting it out because that would mean knocking over everything. But it is a Shonen Jump from August 2004, which is the month and the year I was born. So, that is one of my coolest things I've ever found. And then we have a Winged Dragon of Ross sticker and a, another sticker of another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monster that I can't remember the name of. Over on this side of the shelf, we have Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, and then a micro version of Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter to cap that all off. Makes that shelf look really, really cool with its simplicity. We have the ATRT and the Bark Speeder from the 501st Battle Pack. Then we have a Clone Turbo Tank. I do have the new Clone Turbo Tank, but I destroyed it because I didn't think it looked good. And then we ha on, then we have a um, Micro Scale Venator right here. I'm sorry if it thinks so. if it seems like I'm moving a little fast through this. I wanna I'm trying not to take too much time. Um, making this video because it might end up being a long one if I do. So I'm gonna, I'm trying, I'm gonna try and slow down. But yeah, I'm trying not to take up, spend like an hour on this video. So in this shelf, you can't really see the back, but we have Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and Death Trooper. Um, bionic construction figures, and behind the, and in front of those, we have. Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, uh, Mandalorian, Baby Yoda, Iron Man, Cyborg, and Frankenstein um, brickheads, which I think are really cool. But I would like another, a better way to display those. In this shelf, we only have one set. We have the um, N1 Naboo Starfighter on its little stand, which I think is really nice. But over here, we have the Imperial shelf. So we have an Imperial Speeder. We have TIE Fighter, a TIE Fighter, ATSD, and the Grand Inquisitor's TIE Advanced Prototype. Over here, though, we have another only one uh, set. We have the Javelin from DC Comics, which is really cool. And then on the bottom shelf, we have um, another Imperial Speeder, two custom-built cannons, which I think are really cool. I actually did a, um, what's it called? I did a tutorial on these on my old Lego channel. We have a Imperial V-Wing and in a Rebel A, in a Resistance A-Wing. This box is empty. I always forget that this box is empty for some reason. This box, though, has a bunch of cords, so we can close that up, too. That's not important, either. This box, though, has all my Bionicle parts in it, which I think are really cool. Some of the highlights are we have the Hulk Bionicle figure and some Hero Factory stuff in there. This box is also empty. So empty, in fact. It doesn't even have a bottom. And there are a pair of Lego legs. Shows how prepared I was for this video. I was actually very prepared for this video, but... My own stupidity got the better of me with that one. And in this box, we have a bunch of just parts and stuff that don't fit in the other bins. Ah. So, that is that whole display. I'm thinking of getting another one of these to put over here. Just for Star Wars sets. So I would have all these Star Wars sets over there, and on the top of it, oh, 
sorry about that. On the top of it, move this and this and get like a big battle between Imperial or between Republic and Separatist. So that would be cool, in my opinion at least. Um, over here, we just have my bed and my fan on top of a box because I'm too lazy to get an, I'm too whatever to get an actual proper end table for my bed. Over here, we have my display case with a bunch of figures in it, including some classic city pirates and castle figures, some Star Wars stuff, be it custom. Actually, I do want to open this and show you guys the best Star Wars figure ever. Rarest Star Wars figure. He has been dubbed the Pandalorian. Because he has a... He's not really a panda. I need a panda head to make him actually the Pandalorian. But you get it. I also have the Chrome Stormtrooper up here. And my custom me and Captain Davy Jones. Along with a Halo figure for some reason. So that's that case. And then in here, if I can flick on the light into my walk-in closet, hidden behind a secretive mirror, we have all of the other parts bins for some reason. We have more parts closed in here. This bin holds all my Lego instructions. This one is just random stuff, and this one at the bottom is all the action figures that aren't on the shelf. Um, down here, we have more parts. These bins just hold some random weirdness in it. I don't even know. Ugh. Up here, though. Up here is where things get good. Or, not that they haven't been good before. We have the Mandalorian cage, pizza truck, um, Mandalorian speeder, uh, droid speeder, shield truck, camper, hellfire droid. Back here we have uh, another car. We have uh, U-Wing, uh, Kai's fire dragon, spider droid, um, another droid, I forget the name of him, space set, uh, Deadpool's helicopter, Bathtub, motorcycle, doohickey, Joker, jet, Lex Luthor's mech suit, uh, First Order speeder, another Mandalorian speeder, bat, batwing, ice for some reason, another Mandalorian speeder, classic plane, right behind it we have an X-Wing micro build, I just hit the wall behind me by accident, under the X-Wing micro build we have a, the... Uh, Emperor's Chair. Je Je well, that's an issue. We'll fix that another day. We have the Batman v Superman Batmobile. Lobo's bike. Custom Batman bike. Ninjago bike. And Lola from uh, Lego Marvel. Up here, we just have a belt, really. And yeah, so that's it for that area. So we get back here, flick that light off. We're almost done with the tour, I think. I don't think there's really anything else to show you guys. I'll go over one last scan of the really cool stuff. Because we have games. Oh, I forgot to show you down here. And this. I can't believe I forgot to show you guys all that stuff. I'm an idiot. So let's get back down on the floor into this cabinet under my... That's broken. So it just makes it annoying. So down here we have a broken Xbox controller, PlayStation controller. We have a PlayStation controller, back pads, parts to the Switch. We have the... If I can even open it. Which I can. We have my Nintendo DS in here. Here, let me open it. We have my Nintendo DS. Does that have a game in it? No. Okay, figured as much. And then just some other things in there. Some other junk electronics in there. 
So it's a process to close that up. Making sure it doesn't pop and break again. And in this thing, we have, if you give me a minute to open it, movies that I was given over the years. So we have Cannibal the Musical. Uh, it sounded funny, so I took it from my aunt and uncle when they were moving. We have Family Guy Stewie's Untold Story. Uh, the Family Guy Star Wars stuff. First three discs of American Dad. I Am Legend. All. Uh, uh, we have six. I'm not sure if that's all of them, but we have six seasons of The Office for some reason. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. We have more movies. Even more stuff. We have Boon the Boondock Saints. Here's where things get really interesting. We have Samurai Kiel. Uh, this is Cowboy Bebop, I think? Yes. We have all of Cowboy Bebop. We have bit some of Berserk. We have Samurai Champloon. And that's it. That's all that's in there. I always have trouble closing this thing because the, the zipper gets forest behind the stuff. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and it should be all of it. Everything that's in my apartment. Right now, under the pool table, we have the pool balls and the pool, pool cue. Um, do Yeah. That is everything in my apartment. So, if you guys want me to make a video on any weird, strange thing you've seen here, either explaining why I have it, how I got it, or, I don't know, uh, make sure to comment it down below. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys. See you next time.